What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on how to properly jump with a jump cue. To legally jump a ball in billiards, you actually have to hit the cue ball on top. You cannot scoop the ball under and making the cue ball jump. So if we're imagining this is the cue ball itself so you can see a reference where I like to strike the cue ball itself. So for me striking the cue ball, I actually like to hit it right above the circle of this 10. So it'll be about right here. Any higher, I'll have a top spin with it. And any lower, I'll have a draw shot trying to get a draw. But normally, I always like to hit center, going through the ball itself, so I can actually control this cue ball itself. Best way to practice your jump shot is actually getting an object ball, so you can actually know where you're gonna be striking it. So like I said, I like getting a strike ball for the object ball itself, that way I know how to position myself. The way to position your jumps is you'll get your bridge hand about one, one hand away from the object ball, and you wanna go through on top of where you're gonna be aiming at. That gives you where your reference point of where your, your cue ball is gonna go. So the biggest thing is once you get that, then you start to elevate. When we elevate, our back leg is pretty much on our tippy toes and all our weight is on our front leg. The best, best way when you're doing it from the back side is when you elevate, you actually have this pretty loose and you're, you wanna hit this with a firm hit to go through your object ball and making this actually bounce on the table itself. Remember, the higher you go, the harder it is and the higher your loft is. But the thing is, that takes a lot of practice. So normally, you'll see them about right here to get a good jump shot. Make sure you chalk your tip. The biggest thing is having chalk on the tip itself since this is a G10, it actually holds pretty good chalk. Like I said, about a, a hand away and I'll aim, and then you want to elevate, putting all the weight towards your front, having a loose arm, and follow through. Once you start getting confidence on jumping the ball, now you can actually practice jumping a real ball. So the big, biggest thing is, I like having, when I do my jumps in tournaments or anywhere in games, I want to make sure I can actually loft it over, and I don't want to be where the object ball is too far, where it's going to be difficult, or it's very too, very very close, where it's also gonna be difficult and giving my opponent ball in hand. So my average jump would be to practice is about a diamond away. And our uh, biggest thing is try to get your cue ball into the corner pocket and practice those so that you can be consistent with your jumps. Once you're getting accurate and getting the cue ball into the pocket, now you can get brave and actually try putting a ball. What I like to do is getting the object ball about two diamonds up on the short rail and one diamond on the long rail and making sure my cue ball and object ball are straight in and straight to the pocket. Remember, these are just for practicing, so you want to get this as best as you can to actually perform the jump shots itself. All right, biggest way to do this, is what I like to do, like I said earlier, is about a uh, hand away, my hand away. So I will aim through the cue ball itself and make sure I'm lined up to the object ball. Once I'm lined up to the object ball, then I'll execute the elevation. What I like to do is hit it um, about above the stripe, if that was a stripe ball, and make sure my leg is, is uh, propped up and all my weight is on my front leg. And this will give me my elevation. And hopefully I should be able to jump over the ball and strike the one ball and go into the corner pocket.
For the dart method, the way I do it is having my elbows pretty much close to my body itself. That gives me a, a firm and um, rigid body. And the thing is that's only moving is my wrist. So the biggest thing is with the dart stroke, I only use it when the um, object ball and cue ball is less than the diamond apart. And because it's very difficult for me to control. And I like to have this tight. Also with my leg propped up and all my weight on my front leg. And you're actually going through the ball itself and aiming, aiming through your shaft, going to the object ball itself. Best way to practice the dart stroke is actually getting it two balls width apart and from your cue ball to your object ball that you're gonna be jumping over. That way you have some distance and then you have a lot. The biggest, is, biggest thing about this, I like having it just for practicing since I'm not very accurate uh, with the dart stroke, is making the object ball close to the pocket. That way you can build confidence and you can figure out what you're doing wrong versus just keep doing trial and error. I just showed you how to legally jump with a jump cue. The biggest thing is, like I said before, is get one of your strike balls and actually strike it here. That way you can actually go through your um, cue ball itself and this gives you a practice of where you're gonna be aiming at. I hope this video was informative. Stay tuned, we're still gonna be doing position plays and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up.